Hey, what's good, everybody? It's Pinpoint back at it again with another NBA 2K19 My Team video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys another brand new method of sniping. This one is going to be something that, like, could make you empty super quick, and it's very easy compared to previous methods, I would say. It's, like, super simple. It does take a little bit of waiting, but I'll show you guys how that is in a minute. But what I wanted to start the video off with is that thank you guys for all the continued support for everybody, you know, who's been subbing the channel. I moved from like 28 subs about like two months ago to 135 now. Um, if you do see one of these videos, I ask you guys, please drop us up. It's a simple click of a button. Please tell your friends about it. It really helps me out, and that's what motivates me to make these videos to try and help all you guys out so that, you know, it's not just me being able to make a bunch of MT and upgrade my team, you know, but also you guys could do the same thing. So I've been making, you know, 50 to 100 KMT probably every couple of days. I was sitting on 142K, but as you can see, I got 42 or... 49 auctions actually so all that stuff is stuff that I need to sell so that who knows how much that is maybe another 100k maybe more so that's just some of the work that I've been doing if you guys want to see like I haven't played my team a ton this year just like came in for certain locker codes and whatnot but like right now I am rolling with if you see down here I just bought the Blake I just bought the Kuzma I just bought the brand new Moments Doncic uh, so, whoops, that's not the Mavs. Where are they? Oh, over here. Yeah, so he's a nice card. Honestly, I've just been grinding really hard like these last couple weeks to help you guys out and to help myself out. So, without further ado, let me get started with this tutorial. So, the new one is going to be on how to snipe these brand new jerseys that come out uh, just about like maybe a week ago, I think. But basically... They're going to be the earned uniforms. The city uniforms, you can also do the same thing with. I don't really do the city uniforms because the prices fluctuate so much as where the earned uniforms or jerseys are going to be pretty set on prices. Now, just for searching purposes, I will throw the teams that have earned jerseys down in the description so you guys can just take a look down there if you are going to follow this method of sniping. It'll make it a lot easier, but it's going to be the 76ers, Bucks, Wizards, Cavs, Pacers, Raptors, Heat, and Celtics in the East. And then Warriors, T-Wolves, Spurs, Pelicans, Blazers, Jazz, Rockets, and Thunder in the West. Simple to check, but it's easier if you have a list so that you don't have to stop your sniping for the, you know, to look at the list of the, you know, team names. But... You're going to go to the auctions, and jerseys are under franchise. Now, home jer some of them are home jerseys. Some of them are away. So if you don't find, like, you know, which is which, or if you find a team and it's not coming up for home jersey, obviously search under away. Filter is going to be searching by gold, and then you can just search by team, essentially. But if you want to make it like where you're only like buying the jerseys right away to make immediate profit, you could always search by a certain buyout. So like you could do 250 minimum buyout and then like a 5k max buyout. That would pretty much make sure you get profit every time you buy one of these jerseys. But for me, I just like to, you know, also bid snipe. So it really helps to not throw the buyout on there because bid sniping is essential part to this as well so to get started like the 76ers are one of the team with a new earned uniform so as you can see there's one up for 10k another up for 10k buy it out buy out or buy it now <clears throat> and you just kind of scroll through here looking the cheapest prices so there is one up for 6500 if you didn't see and one up for 68.50. There's one for 62.50. Now, normally these jerseys are going for a 
about 10k like for every single team so right now the market is a little bit low right now but i promise there will be points where you can sell them for almost 10k so i could buy those ones for six and definitely be able to flip them for 10 at a different time but i would rather just look for something that's going to be more of an immediate profit so the 76ers didn't have anything super great one for 89 on the bucks and then if you see right here there's one for, with 50 minutes left um, what I normally do is bid up to 4 or 5K. Now, that doesn't mean that you're bidding automatically 4 or 5K. What it means is that you're going to bid, you're going to get the current high bid if your bid is higher than what the person had before. But then you're also going to be able to, the game will automatically increase your bid if somebody, for example, bids 3,000, while my max bid is 4,150. So that person will not outbid me but my bid will go up to 3k but on the other hand if nobody bids any more than 2650 then I just got a huge steal and it's gonna give me that 1500 MT back that I didn't use so that could be a snipe potentially and I just scroll through honestly finding all the earned jerseys that are going for super cheap you know bid or buyout so I mean I would stay away from ones that have like 20 hours left what you're going to want to do is scroll to the ones that have about four hours left. This one, 355, because that was just posted five minutes ago, most likely. But, you know, you could search kind of any of them. It all depends on what people, you know, if people are checking these jerseys. If they're not checking, then you could find a snipe at any time. But, yeah, so most of them, like I said, are going for about 10K. And that's mostly the extent of this method. I would love to get a snipe to show you guys. Like, I could buy this one that's going for 2K. Now, like I said, sometimes you have to wait. Like, last night, I found a bunch of them up for 5K. I bought them for 5, and I was good to go. I resold them for 10, if not 9,500. You know, that's like a quick 3 plus thousand profit you know sometimes four to five thousand depending on how much you buy it for how much you list it for and what the stuff is going for but simply you're gonna scroll through all these see this celtics one is gonna be one of the ones that's in a way jersey because that's the celtics earned jersey right there the gold one and so you're just kind of gonna look through all of these and like i said go to the go to where you know you can find it within about four hours so this is the one that was listed probably most recently you could very well bid on this one bid about five thousand see if you end up getting it but that requires you waiting 21 hours and then when you bid you're gonna be out of that mt until you either win the card or somebody outbids you so it's not always worth it let's say you know if you don't have a ton of mt then you know you're gonna not want to be able to you're, you're not going to want to do that but there's a couple that are super expensive so the heat one is very expensive it see this is a snipe i know this is a 10,000 mt jersey but this jersey you can list for 10k and it's gonna go for anywhere from 25 to 50 and i've even seen higher than 50k on this jersey so that's like a simple snipe i know 10,000 mt for a jersey doesn't seem like a snipe but i promise that it will be and then the other one that is going to be very high in value is the raptors this one rarely comes up for you know 10,000 buyout as you can see there's one going for 16k so even if you bought it for 10k you know buyout it would essentially be a 4400 profit about if you sold it for 16 flat so if you really want to make a ton of profit that's the way to do it is to search for the Heat or the Raptors one, but they don't come up super often for bio because people do tend to check. But otherwise, that's going to be about it. Um, I'm glad I was able to get, you know, that one where that is a snipe that I just got. And like I said, I know 10K for a jersey, you guys might be looking like, okay, well, that doesn't look like a snipe, but I promise it really is. So... That's going to be it for today, guys. I hope this video helps you out a ton. If it does help you out, like I said, please drop a sub. It really keeps me motivated to make videos for you like this. And then please comment, you know, if you like the video, what I can do next. And drop a like because that's awesome. So thank you, guys, and peace out.